The bends are an agonizing condition that humans get when they move too fast from an area of higher pressure to one of lower pressure. The most well-known victims are scuba divers, who get the bends if they surface too fast. It sucks. So why does the pressure change cause excruciating pain in the first place? The reason is tiny bubbles of gas. Humans carry dissolved gases like nitrogen and oxygen in their blood. If a person moves too quickly into a low pressure environment, these gases expand and try to escape the body. The same thing happens when you open a soda. Pop the cap, drop the pressure, and the bubbles expand and fizz. But the first humans to get the bends weren't actually divers. They were 18th century French miners using a newly invented structure called a caisson. Early caissons were narrow metal tubes placed within mine shafts. Miners were lowered down that tube, which was then filled with compressed air, allowing the workers to easily dig through layers of quicksand to access the rich veins of coal below. Efficient. Some miners complained of nausea and pain that only set in after they left these compression chambers. Because the symptoms only started after their shifts when they returned to the surface, doctors took to calling it decompression sickness. The symptoms made life miserable for those miners, but things were about to get worse. In 1867, engineer John Roebling had his plans for a massive bridge between Brooklyn and Manhattan approved. To build such a bridge, he needed to use bigger caissons that would go deeper than ever before. They floated the caisson, a large reinforced box with no floors, into place. As they built on top of the caisson, it gradually sunk to the river bottom. Engineers then pumped compressed air into the box, pushing out the water, leaving an air-filled workspace. Each day, workers went in and out of the caissons through airlocks, digging into the riverbed until they hit bedrock and could secure the bridge's foundation. Roebling died before construction began, and his son Washington took over in 1871. He paid workers well by the standards of the day, but still a third of his laborers quit each week. Why? When workers emerged from these huge caissons, many were racked with joint pain and stooped over. The condition soon got a darkly comedic name. Just beyond the construction site on the glittering streets of Manhattan, ladies' fashion favored a look called the Grecian Bend. With super tight corsets and massive bustles, forcing women to bend forward as they walked. The look had evolved from a risque dance move called the Grecian Bend that itself was meant to imitate the graceful bending over postures of Greek statues. Caisson workers mocked each other that they were doing the bend, which soon became the bends. As workers in the caisson dug deeper into the riverbed, the symptoms of the bends got worse too. Workers began to experience itchy, swollen skin, bladder and bowel dysfunction, neurological deficits, and even paralysis. Washington Roebling himself experienced the bends. He decided to stop the caisson drilling sooner than planned, but not before the Brooklyn Bridge caissons had severely sickened 110 men and killed three. These high-pressure caissons are still used in the construction of bridges and dams, but they're considered expensive and dangerous. When caissons are used, the workers do what scuba divers do, ascend to the surface slowly and carefully to adapt to the change in pressure. It's 2019. No one wants to do the Grecian Bend.